before we start today lecture i have one of the very basic question i hope you know which is the largest organ of the body please keep quiet one by one which is stomach skin small intestine liver yes skin lungs <coughs> skin small intestine <coughs> listen again carefully according to you people there is so many organs in body which are largest but here is only one organ which is considered as largest organ of the body which is skin which is one is do you know why skin is the largest organ of the body know the reason okay listen there is a word there is a word in tugment or it is also called as common entrogment r you know it is also called as entrogmentary system what is the difference between skin and common entrogment do you have any idea or what is the entrogmentary system no don't worry i am to explain this is what you know look on this first on this word the skin you know skin is what skin is organ largest organ of body the idea you have come here you know this word and tube if you should look on this word it means covering something the word in tube means covering covering up anything is this is a you know what your skin do skin cover whole body skin is actually in other sense is a barrier between the body and the external environment between the body and so whole body is actually covered by with what the word entrogment mean what covering so they these two words you know entrogments are skin they are similar each other are synonyms each other in many sense but when you heard this term entrogmentary system there is a little difference which is important there is a difference between skin and entrogmentary system you need to understand people falsely consider entrogmentary system and skin are same no that is not the story <laughs> entrogmentary system actually a system of any system of body have many organs are consist of many structures so same here or in entrogmentary system we have many structure many organs for example the first organ will be skin okay and the other thing you know we have what other things are actually are the appendages appendages are derivatives of skin you know what is appendage in a derivative of skin you are hairs okay nails some glands you are getting my point if you go more deep in domesticated animal we have what we have horns you know horns of cattle in bovine family in horn of a goat you know udder are mammary glands you know there are also modified skin glands there are also skin appendages some animal you know like uh, horse they have what hooves okay they are also modified from skin they are also appendages are the derivative of skin so point is that a, if you are looking on the skin skin is a single organ skin is a single organ have as the largest organ of the body involved in many important function of the body but along with their derivatives along with their appendages like hair nail uh, glands horns hooves this 
togetherly skin at their derivatives they form integumentary system they form integumentary system togetherly that is the difference between integumentary system and only with skin or word integument you are getting my point so if you look little deeply you will understand skin is what very simple you know skin is actually consist of two layers skin is consist of a let me draw a diagram here that two layers okay these two layers are known as what this is known as the upper one is known as what epidermis okay this lower one is known as what dermis some people believe there is a third layer okay which is called as what hypodermis are also called as subcutaneous layer try to understand this this epidermis is actually what this epidermis is epithelial layer this is a epithelial layer if you go more deep this is actually what stratified keratinized epithelium this is what stratified keratinized epithelium so this this area or this epidermis is actually what stratified keratinized epithelium you know this is stratified means many layers what does it mean keratinized what does it mean the outermost layer is a dead cell layer filled with keratin so actually here in histology class we will discuss this but i can tell you here in most of cases we have five different layers we have five different layers yes how many layers five different layers in the skin so these there are known as stratum basale stratum uh, spinosum stratum corneum stratum lucidum we will discuss this in histology class but idea is that this upper layer is what epidermis if you look on to the lower layer this is what this is a dermis okay dermis also divide into dermis is what this dermis is actually connective tissue okay dermis is what yes dermis is connective tissue mostly irregular loose connective tissue mostly irregular loose connective tissue so here there is the upper area which is actually attached with the epidermis or plug with the epidermis this region is actually known as what papillary papillary layer this down area remaining which have a regular reticular fiber this is known as reticular layer so this dermis is further divided into two layer but idea is that this is this dermis is actually what it is a connective tissue it is the connective tissue if you go into the hypodermis on the subcutaneous region there you will have blood vessel nerve vessels if similarly we will have here but you have here what adipose tissue fat you will have here what adipose tissue adipose cell or fat cells in where in hypodermis this is a structure of skin this is the structure of skin consist of epidermis and dermis and hypodermis you know what <coughs> in different animals if you look what really happened <coughs> especially you are talking about a mammals the characteristic feature of uh, skin is what skin have different colors skin have and most of cases in mammals skin have hairs skin have here if you this is your skin you will find a hair follicle a hair is originating from skin okay other important thing is that skin have two kind of glands skin have if you are what does it mean if you are looking on the derivative of skin okay we have derivative number 1 is what here okay derivative you know these the thing you need to understand these derivation of these uh, appendages they are actually modification of epidermis they are what hooves horn claws uh, hair nail 
they are what even skin gland they are what they are the modification of epidermis this thing you need to understand that's clear so if you looking out this is the structure of skin <coughs> so skin have derivatives this derivative number one is what here we have many different animals many different species which we go give the concentration in our study so animals have you know three different kind of hairs animals have three different kind of hairs one is known as golden hairs other is known as wool hairs hairs third one is known as tactical tactical hairs 